The third way in which we close the door to Jannah on people, we make it sound like only the best people are going to go to Jannah. But you, unfortunately, I mean, you could try, but I mean, look at you. I mean, seriously, Jannah, you, oh, come on. Allah says, Sari'u ila maghfiratim min rabbikum wa jannatin arduha ka ardi samai wal ard. U'iddat lilladhina amanu billahi wa rusulihi. Subhanallah. He says, why don't you try to rush towards Jannah? By the way, if you rush towards Jannah, that actually means that you're on a road. Yeah? It means you're on a road. The imagery is consistent throughout the Quran. You're on this road towards Jannah. And he says, why don't you rush towards the Jannah? Who has it been prepared for? I mean, you should rush towards it, but I mean, really, come on, you're not gonna get... No, no, no. What does Allah say? It has been prepared for any who believed in Allah and, their mess and His messengers. All of them. Is that restricting the gates of Jannah or is it opening them? Tell me. It's opening them. And it's such a wide opening that it's an extra gift of Allah that we did not expect. So in the very same ayah, he says himself, He says that is the favor of Allah. He gives it to whoever he wants. And Allah is capable and possesses great favor. This is a huge favor he gave people. That he gave them hope that they can make it to Jannah. And what do we do? Every chance we get, wallahi, these people are... How can you tell you're a munafiq? How can you tell you have shirk inside of you? You're, none of your deeds will be accepted. You are going to go to jihad. Oh my God, man. Chill out. Are we reading the same book? Let me tell you something from the Quran. لا يصلاها إلا الأشقى. Before I translate this ayah, listen to this example. It's a silly example, but it'll get the point across. The, you know, the, de the Department of Motor Vehicles, there are traffic laws. You guys are familiar with traffic laws unless you're 17 years old. But, you know, if you're familiar with traffic laws, listen. They say you will get a ticket if you speed. You'll get a ticket if you what? Speed. Does that mean you will only get a ticket if you speed? No. That means one of the ways you can get a ticket is what? Speeding. But there are other ways to get a ticket, right? But what if it said, no one will get a ticket except the one who speeds. If I say it like that, nobody will get a ticket except the one who speeds, then what are we saying? Everybody else is what? Off the hook, no problem. The only crime is what crime? Speeding. Now listen, Allah does not say, al ashqa. The worst, He will enter the worst people into hell. He will throw the worst people into hell. If he said that, then there's the, the room is open. The worst people will go to hell and not that bad people also. He didn't say that. He said, لا يصلاها إلا الأشقى. Nobody will go to hell except the worst, worst, worst kinds of people. الأشقى. The most wretched, the most miserable, the most evil kinds of people. Those are the ones that are gonna go to Jahannam. What is the concept that most Muslims have in their head? That somehow most of us are going to end up in Jahannam. Ya Rabb, look at the next ayah. Look at the next ayah. وَسَيُجَنَّبُهَا الْأَتْقَى هَلْ قَالْ لَا يُجَنَّبُهَا إِلَّا الْأَتْقَى لا. He didn't say, he will not let anybody go to Jannah except the best people, the most righteous people. He didn't say that. He said, he will let the most righteous people go to Jannah. They will be saved from Jahannam. But he didn't say only they will be saved. He left the door. When he came to Jahannam, he closed the door. When he came to Jannah, in the very next ayah, he opened the door. He likes to open that door, we like to close it. And not on ourselves, especially on other people. It disturbs me sometimes mothers with their children. When your kid doesn't listen to you, Allah will punish you. What is wrong with you, lady? Jahannam, nar, mothers to our child. What? It? Lady, listen, listen, listen. You would not want your kid to be hit with a car. You would not want your child to fall down the stairs. You're, you would not want your child to be stabbed with a fork when he's eating and his tooth falls out. You wouldn't want any of that stuff. But it's so easily from your mouth, Jahannam. There's something seriously wrong. 
Seriously, serious, that needs to stop. Because we plant these ideas in children's minds from an early age that Jahannam is easy and Jannah is difficult. Jahannam is easy and Jannah is difficult. How can you expect these people to have a balanced life if you do that? How can you expect them to have husnul dhan with Allah when you do that? Good accept expectations of Allah 